If force F, velocity V and time T are taken as fundamental units, then the dimension of mass R. So it is given that force, velocity and time are fundamental and find the dimension of mass. So we can write mass is a function of force comma velocity comma time. Right. Actually, this is application of um, application or second application of the dimension. So M can be written as M is equal to constant K F V T. Let's say power of F is A, power of V is B, power of T is C. Where A, B, C are constant and the main target is to find the value of A, B, C. Here K represents numerical constant. So as there are in this equation, there are two terms. So we'll, what we'll do here, we'll find the dimension of both the terms. And according to homogeneity principle, we equate the dimension of both the terms. So dimension of first term that is mass is mg1 l0 t0, right? And if we find dimension of k f to the power a, v to the power b, t to the power c, then dimension of k, k is a dimensionless quantity. So we'll solve for force. What is the dimension of force? That is mass into acceleration m1 l1 t minus 2 to the power a. Dimension of velocity is m0 l1 t minus 1 to the power b. And dimension of time is m0 l0 t1 to the power c. So m to the power a, l to the power a, t to the power minus 2a here m to the power 0, l to the power b, t to the power minus b. Here, m to the power 0, l to the power 0, t to the power c. So, we can write here, m to the power a, l to the power a plus b, and t to the power minus 2a minus b plus c. Right? So, we have two terms in the equation number 1 and we have dimension of both the terms. If we use homogeneity principle, using homogeneity principle, what is homogeneity principle? If an equation is said to be dimensionally correct, if all the terms have same dimension, so dimension of mass must be equal to dimension of k f to the power a, v to the power b, t to the power c. So, dimension of m is m to the power 1, l to the power 0, t to the power 0. And dimension of this term is m to the power a, l to the power a plus b, and t to the power minus 2a minus b plus c. Right? So, uh, if we compare power of same basis, that is, if we are comparing base of mass, then a is equal to 1. If we are comparing base of lane, then L A plus B is equal to 0. We can write B is equal to minus A. So, as we know, A is equal to 1. So, B is equal to minus 1. Value of B is minus 1. Value of A is 1. And if we compare power of time, then minus 2A minus B plus C is equal to 0. So, minus 2 into 1 minus minus 1 plus c is equal to 0. So, this minus 2 plus 1 plus c is equal to 0. So, c is equal to 1. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to 1. And if we put these value in equation number 1, so dimension of mass can be written as Dimension of mass can be written as f to the power a, a is 1, uh, v to the power b, b is minus 1, and t to the power c, c is 1. So, f1, v minus 1, t1. f1, v minus 1, t1. Option d is a correct one. Right?